Hi there, so I did an initial video on this uh, Sapphire Nitro Plus card and I was telling you that this uh, back plate can be an issue and as you can see I can take this off very easy. Uh, you told me that I should actually do a video with the card installed in the PC to see what's the issue and what's with this. So as you can see it's not sitting well and the problem is that there is not only one problem with this holding on with magnets but there are several problems with this car. So first of all, I have uh, shut down the power supply, so I do not do a short circuit. So this is off and unplugged. And here's the back plate that was was telling you about. And uh, the problem has multiplied. So for instance, we get that uh, lousy connector, the 12 uh, uh, volt power connector it's uh, this one you know that this one usually catches fire on this uh, gpu card it should not be an issue as uh, this connector is rated for uh, 600 uh, watts of power this uh, will draw in my tests around 330 watts of power so that should not melt down but if you have a nice uh, power supply that comes with uh, its own cable such as this one my power supply it's a deep cool model that is on uh, the PSU tier list in a uh, top category. Uh, it's a fine power supply. It has uh, 1200 watts of output power. It comes with own modular cables such as this one and the cables are rather stiff. So if you install a connector there which is a stealthy connector and everyone likes that. Well you have this cable that comes from there and you should somehow bend this in 90 degrees which is impossible so you need to twist it and bend it something like that so you create a 90 degrees bend so it goes there otherwise you cannot install it without coming from this direction so if you manage to do that with a lot of force you are going to end up with this cable sticking up which is going to push up the magnetic backplate. Further on the issue continues as you get this with your uh, card so you might say well this is flexible use that. Well it's not that flexible because this sits there and you need again to bend it 90 degrees and this being flexible it's not going to stick here you see the producer has thought of the cables rubbing on to these uh, hitsing fins so it should not cut them so they actually put some insulator here this is a foam pad this foam pad will block airflow it's not great and it's not covering all of the area and when you are using these these are not going to stay over the foam they are going to go something like that and do a big loop around then the problem still continues as you have now some connectors and everyone likes modular things and say they are great the more plugs you have on a system the less efficient it is. This is basic electronics and engineering. Each connector has a voltage drop. It's not big, it's minimal. But you have a modular power supply that has a connector there, then you have a connector here. Each connector has its own voltage drop. The more voltage drop you have, you need to use higher amps, so higher current draw, to get the same amount of power. And when you are using this, you actually introduce beside this connector and the power supply connector, you introduce other connectors with more voltage drop, so you actually increase the amps. Okay, it's marginally, but you increase the amps on those plugs. So this is a improvisation actually to use it on this card. So until now, let's recap a bit. You have a force connector because the cable is not going in nicely. So you put a lot of strain onto this connector and it's always pushing to a bit of side and trying to twist out. You can use this cable and improvise and add more connectors and also the cable will flex out. You have a foam pad here that covers the fins so it reduces the cooling efficiency and it's not covering all the fins. So until now it's nothing great about having this hidden connector here and using that blasted 12 volt connector. Then. Some people are saying that at least you get a metal backplate and even the producer says that it dissipates heat. 
Well, I'm uh, going to break that uh, great idea also because this is not going to dissipate heat because this is not a heat sink that is somehow connected to this. It only it's only a metal plate that is held in place by some magnets. And this is a combination of plastic and metal. And this is an actual extra metal layer over this part of the board. So the board dissipates heat, let's say, on this part. And what happens with that heat? The heat is not released in the air, in the airflow of your uh, coolers to get away. It's actually getting into this. And this one dissipates it further. So this one will absorb it and keep it there and dissipate it. You are actually adding extra layers that keep the heat around the board, not help dissipate it. So this is a stupid thing to say that this will dissipate heat. It's just a nice uh, looking thing that holds, actually not holds in place and hits your motherboard just like that because of a stupid connector there. So as much as you try to put this on, it's a menace because it's not going to fit. And look at that. What you are hearing is actually this back plate staying in the air because of that connector there. So it's not doing any kind of uh, magnetic uh, holding in place. It's just floating around. So it can easily slide away by some external shock and get in contact with your motherboard and when they get in contact they are not going to exchange four numbers they are going to exchange your bank account into a new motherboard and here is a bit of a close-up so look at what cooling efficiency you have here so this foam added here has some tiny holes into it so that this cable doesn't rub on the fins and get cut or uh, uh, short circuited but you are losing a lot of cooling capacity by that foam pad which is actually this one is a very good thermal insulator so it's going to keep the heat on the fins and with those tiny holes you are actually looking at maybe 20% efficiency because the air is not stupid to go through that uh, hole and it's going to sit there heating it up more than normal so this whole part here doesn't make any kind of technical sense it's just design and that's all same as the magnetic uh, gimmick backplate which doesn't dissipate heat doesn't help with cooling your graphics card if you want to cool your graphics card take that out and going back to the voltage drop issue for instance this adapter so it has the voltage sensing pins here and they go to those plugs and from here you have your power supply cable that go into the power supply so you have those connectors here you get voltage drop here and then you get voltage drop on your power supply so what you are measuring here it's actually not correct with the original power supply cables you get voltage sensing here and the wires go all the way to the power supply this cable it's a combined one with two connectors here but this power supply also came with a dedicated 600 watts cable with voltage sensing that goes directly into your power supply and it has a connector there so you only have two connectors one here and one at the power supply not connectors along the wires with voltage sensing around the wires so i hope that you get the idea it's not a perfect design and it's not something uh, novelty and this is probably a boring video because i only talk and show you this and i don't have flashing graphics here and charts and everything else but that's how things work so i hope that this video was enough and if you have other kind of questions or you have another opinion let me know and uh, we can continue this discussion further. Until my next video, see you and uh, bye bye.